Greetings, this is Bradrill and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Let's take this and that. Alright, will we assault this fortress? It's pretty nice actually. That's a villa, really. It doesn't really look like a villa to me. Uh, not this way. Yes, thank you. That's it. Alright, let's see. Shards that no one cares about. This game is very MMOish at time in its design. See some guys there. There's two. Part sucks. Three, four, maybe there. No. Where is the fifth? S uh, yeah. Nothing in the middle, maybe. Come on, where are you? Oh, there we go. Nope, I already found this. Yeah, damn it. Jesus. That the rebellion should play out here. That's not creepy at all. Where the hell is the fifth? Stone being annoying game. How slow must you go? You would think it would be somewhere here, but nope. Maybe it's up there. God damn you, finally. What is this quest? I'm guessing it's up there, right? Let's save because that was annoying. And I don't want to do it again. I claim this keep for the Inquisition. Or Villa, whatever. More than an age before the release and occupation of Ferelden, uh, Earl Jason Guerin ordered its construction to serve as comfortable living quarters for his close friends, famed singer and swordman Sir Coram the Bard. Arlisa Marguerite, Jason's wife, evidently understood and supported her husband's relationship with Coram. Only stipulated that the Bard not live at the castle to avoid any public scandal. Arl Jason Ride was a popular tavern song for many years, jokingly honoring the Earl's attempts. Earl's? I'm not sure actually 
how you pronounce this? To return from the villa before the sun rose, Sir Coram lived happily there until his death in bed at the age of 90. Wow! Several years after the death of Arl Jessen himself, the aged Arlisa Marguerite ordered Coram's body burned with full honors in a hunting cloak that belonged to the Earl. After Sir Coram's death, the villa was used by the Earl's family for guests and as a summer home for younger family members. It was abandoned during the chaos of a fifth blight. Who the hell abandoned the villa? Someone reads. And not yet. Now. Kill it. Alright. I don't think this will be this close. That's cream. Wow. Hmm. This seems nice. I think she has better, but I'm not sure. I'm not fighting anyone. What the hell? Fine. Be that way. Ferelden banner. A banner from Ferelden. What do you do with this? I have no idea. I don't care if you got an arc demon itself lighting your asses on fire. The mercenaries provide enough protection for you to continue the operation. If necessary, more will be dispatched to your location. Keep the dogs working and keep the product moving. Delays will not be tolerated. And now we can save. Let's see if she has a better mace. So, but, uh, yep. Much better. Again, the crafting stuff is very, very nice. And the tessellation is so pretty. And it's everywhere. The sensation is very good, apart from the grasses. It's very, very good. Alright, let's see. Hi. Disengage, come back here. Nope. Uh, follow me. No command, follow me. Nope. Okay. Fucking assaults. Why can't I use this potion? Uh, yep, okay. Save first and now play. that you can actually avoid them. That's pretty awesome. Kill it, kill it. Good. Where is Varric? Somewhere. Let's save. Marik, you want to come here? 
whatever. Come on, I'm gonna I'm stuck. Wait, no, wait. No, let's wait. Bye. I think he has armor, that's why he's immune a bit. Maybe. Yeah. We do nothing. the hill oh, I wasted the potion for no reason I guess he did a challenge or something I gave him armor I mean seriously how many hit points does this one guy has long boss great Even terrain too much to ask for. Is that a problem? Mm. Well, you mm -hmm. might be wow. traipsing through the countryside, punching dragons, interrogating wow. whatever it is. One them. more uh, level. But good damn. <laughs> that guy was uh, difficult, but he had a fantastic armor that we can't use for now. Uh, So good. See just the difference, okay? Uh, nope, it was us. Okay. Who should wear this? What am I wearing? You will wear this. Solas, what are you wearing? <laughs> you take this. What? What was the? This. Okay. See you. Is that a trebuchet, sort of? With its head missing. Alright, let's see. A huge key. A letter from the Carta, who hired your mercenary organization to facilitate this business venture, not add communications. In order for the Carta to extract the product without attracting undue attention, this area, the area must be free from observation. If the fighting between the apostate mages and the renegade Templars is insufficient, your efforts were to dissuade refugees from exploring the area and interfering with our operation. We are meeting at our primary base of operations in Valamar to determine the next course of action. At your earliest convenience, send the representatives to the location marked to explain the situation and obtain new instructions. Cool. And now we can actually get in. That please. What's this? The position's growing presence in the area represents a threat to the operation. Focus efforts on discouraging any further exploration in the area, particularly any efforts to give comfort to the refugees at the crossroads. We cannot have people putting down roots here. Ah, this thing is huge. And there is another huge guy there. Hello. Well, nothing I missed him. Wow. Alright, let's see. There. Can't miss that. Yeah, 
bye bye Said bye bye It seems the Ferelden army has chosen to stay clear hmm. for now Twin demons versus demons what level 8 get them level 8 let's take this what is it oh crap all right that wasn't so bad <laughs> there goes a uh, stairs there. Whoops. That's a great dagger. Alright. Let's see what else do we have in this area. Sards, sards, I'm not sure I want the sards actually. Okay, let's go there. It's a straight ahead. What's that? Iron. Onyx. Still no obsidian. Really? Where is everybody else? Alright, I teleported. Whatever works. Sure, I'll take the Onyx. Hmm. What the? That popping was weird. What is that? Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alrighty, let's give here a barrier. That's it. Level up. Awesome. Let's see what shall we get. Uh, gathering storm. Uh, fill the area with sympathetic magic. It's not bad. It's also not bad. this power plus two nice all right we're two again about the shards I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to do them if I am I'm going to do them off screen you know I'll get those that are uh, right in front of me but uh, Otherwise, if I want to collect them for some reason, I'll do that off screen because that will be boring as hell. I see your fruit. In tonics. Can I go right? Yes, I can. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Let's go down. Down, down. Uh, 
I think two. Yeah, that's correct. Let's see if we can close this rift. Uh, perhaps not the best way. Good enough. Yes, I hear you. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see. Take some of that. And some of that. Nope. Nope. No, god damn you. Kill it. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. Or the maker, to be fair. Wow. Hits me. That guy. Yeah, see that. Oh, there are two of them. The archers. Alrighty. Enhanced pirating. Stop jumping. <laughs> but Lux, no. I think the spindle would do. Alrighty. Let me end this episode here. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like and leave a comment if you want to.